All stations, all stations, all stations. This is the United States Coast Guard Center, Virginia. Storm warning. Today, northeast winds, then becoming north, 35 to 50 knots. And I'm nervous about this turn. It's always like before something is about to happen, I always feel anxiety um, because you don't know how bad it's gonna get. And I saw like 55 knots, like that's a lot. And if it's on the side of the boat, like that's gonna be pretty hectic, I think, because Sierra is sleeping in there. I'm gonna stand in there, just make sure that she's okay. She's gonna be fine. It's, she's. I have everything really padded. I just really need to make sure that she's good. It's different being a mom. <laughs> Whew, deep breaths. Well, the conditions have actually deteriorated. Uh, we're seeing solid 35 gusts up into the mid 40s. Dallas is surfing. Here we go again. 8, 9, 11, 13, 15 knots! Holy! 16! Oh Jesus, that's crazy! Just solid 40 knots. 45, 50. 50 right there. 55, 55 knots. side and it stretched the line enough that it slammed the pole into the boat, bent the railing, jammed up all the lines like that knuckle up there is bent. It's nasty out there. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. All right, you ready to go, dude? Let's hit it, man. You want to do the honors? Yeah, I'll go let the line out. Untie the morning line. Dawn patrol time. Good to go. That's it. We're free. All right, here we go. Oh, is that Roger coming out? I guess my definition of first light is a little bit later, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we have our escort too. You guys have a good trip. Very Thank good you. Seas. We'll Thank miss. You we'll miss you guys. Miss you have a great Sunday. <laughs> now let's hope that dredge channel is a little bit deeper for us. Yeah. Alright, this is the tricky part coming up where we ran aground before. We just ran aground three times. I don't think we're gonna get in here right now. It's too shallow for us. <laughs> Still got 2.3. Come on, baby. I guess this is bye-bye Annapolis, huh? Wow, we thought we were gonna be here for like two weeks and uh, I think it's pretty much six weeks since we got here. It's crazy. We have gotten so much stuff done though and so many projects that we be kind of dreading and putting off and the engine sounds great. And uh, I'm kind of happy it's not too hectic winds today just to kind of ease into it. Even though we have to kind of motor a little bit, I think it's gonna be fine. Oh, it's a beautiful day and it's even not that, I mean, it's cold, but it's not that cold. <laughs> Sierra is still sleeping. I uh, should probably wake up really soon. <sighs> Feels good. I feel like I'm filled with good energy today. With Delos in tip-top shape, we departed Annapolis in some stunning conditions as we continued along our journey south along the east coast of the United States. We'd already traveled over 700 miles from our starting point in Maine, and today we'd be picking up where we left off after our long stopover in Annapolis. We did 
didn't hit the bottom. No. <laughs> Finally, we get out of Ogleton without scraping the mud. It's at least a meter deeper. push this forward it locks the transmission which causes the propeller to fold that's why we do that otherwise it will spin ah, that's nice huh that's great beautiful sailing amazing seven and a half knots not too shabby at all not too shabby haha ha. Good morning, baby nugs. Did you sleep good? Wow, somebody slept for 12 hours. <laughs> she has a lot of energy. She's like, ding! Nugs, we're in the middle of the Chesapeake. We left while well, you're snoozing. What's for breakfast this morning? Orange, like every morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's so calm out here. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, huh? We're still doing six knots. Wow. She's come a long way. She's standing on that lean. Look at her. I know. A little hard, but she's getting there. It's like, ah! What do you have, Nugget? You have your necklace on, you got your remote control. Oh. You're ready to go to sea, huh? <laughs> she's actually a lot different than when we got here. Yeah. Well, it looks like all is well down below. Yeah, we're doing good down here. <laughs> In this boat. Oh, don't chase the sail. <laughs> She's concentrating on huh? staying on course. Oh, starboard port. Starboard port. Hey, both hands on the wheel, miss. <laughs> we have been dealing with some pretty hectic conditions down the coast so far. And between endless boat projects and my hernia surgery, the last six weeks in Annapolis were incredibly exhausting to say the least. So having such a peaceful day on the water with my family was exactly what we needed. As sunset approached, we decided it would be a good idea to drop the hook for a few hours and rest up for an early morning departure the next day. We couldn't have been more content or grateful for the gorgeous conditions, but little did we know that this was just the calm before the storm. Alright, set a couple of firsts for you. Yeah, definitely uh, eight and a half knots at night is pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> And it is pitch black. There's not a moon or anything out here, so it's a little bit interesting, and we're just getting our night vision going, but I trust your radar and your instincts, so we're good. <laughs> oh, it's blowing too. Oh yeah. And this is only the we beginning of this is only the beginning. It's it's 5.30 in the morning. And we had a great plan of getting up and going early to get ahead of the big front that's coming through. And uh, we want to make it all the way to Norfolk this morning, so I'm excited. Yeah. Took a little rest for a couple hours of sleep. And now we're cooking out of here. We got solid wind, we're on it. We're gonna get back into the channel and then we're gonna turn and just go dead south. Uh, the wind is supposed to continue building today. I mean, right now we're seeing, what is that, 20, 28, 27. 
you can hear the background, everything's like the high as you're clanking. So the wind's kind of from the beam now. But as we get out in the channel, we're going to turn down, put it more behind us, and then maybe when the light comes up, we'll, we'll rig up the pole. Sweet. Uh, and then we'll just fly. But I think we're on our uh, probably our second reefs right now. There's quite a bit of wind, and yeah, we're just cruising. All the wind uh, has changed and we're about ready to make our turn. We can go ahead and put our pole out. So uh, we're at a pretty deep angle here. We're at uh, 120 and we need to turn uh, about 20 to 30 more degrees. So it's going to put us between 150 and 180. And then when the wind comes more out of the north, it's going to be pretty much dead behind us. So putting up the pole now before the weather gets worse is a good, a good plan. You're gonna lift this part up to get the hook off. I'm gonna take tension in on the topper, and then we're gonna swing it out very slowly. Alrighty, give it a shove. Okay, you can go ahead and pull that red line tight. Got the wind now, boss. Yeah, what are we got? 15, 20? 20, 20 knots behind us, fourth quarter. It's gonna come up a little bit more, isn't it? It should. 25? We should see 25, 30. Yeah. But we got the pole rigged. We're running under the Genoa the mizzen's out. Can't see it. But uh, we're doing all right. It's raining. It's dry in here though. It's nice. And our ETA is jumping between 3 and 4 p.m. Nice. Which is good. We have 50, 49 miles to go. Cool. How you liking that heater now? <laughs> <laughs> is it nice down there? It's pretty hot down there, yeah. It's amazing. The baby Nugs is sleeping peacefully. Yeah, she was awake a lot last night. I think she's teething. Like oh, something yeah. going on. All right. Well, all is well. So this is our day for the next eight hours or so. I was not feeling too good earlier. Jeez. It was uh, pretty rough there for a while, but Brian let me lay down for a little bit, and I think the wind has definitely come up. Sierra's eating a little bit. She didn't eat much earlier. She barely ate her porridge earlier. I couldn't finish mine either. I started feeling so sick. Were you both, you and Mommy, a little bit seasick? <laughs> you feeling better now? Yeah? And I'm feeling a little bit better. I took a seasickness pill or a fourth of a seasickness pill. They affect me really weirdly. Um, so, yeah. I took one of those and um, started feeling better. So, whew. that's nice. Since I have to be inside with you. The wind is blasting now, huh? Yeah, we're getting mid, uh, mid 20s now. Wow. And it's dead behind us, so we're kind of rocketing down the waves. I wanted to see how it was down there. Oh, yeah. Is it all right? Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, yeah, we stabilized because we're going fast now, so. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, Nugget. Take care of mommy, okay? Make sure to take care of your mommy. All right, I'm going to go. Show Rudy what's like outside. It's crazy. Damn it. Water boiling up. It's dirt. This is what it's 
like on the bow. It is not warm, huh? <laughs> Jeez. It's about 35 degrees outside. We were doing eight to nine knots, and Brian was on the bow with the GoPro, and I thought, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> you can't see anything, huh? Visibility's about a half mile, and the waves kicked up from uh, one to two feet, so we're definitely in three to four. <sighs> Whoa. Welcome back. It's early out there. <laughs> Yeah. You should see the water just boiling off the stern. It's like, wow. You are uh, moist. <laughs> I thought you were going to say an idiot. What? Hi guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let us know by liking it and leaving a comment. It makes a huge difference to us. And just wanted to uh, give you a huge cheers from our family to yours. Baby Nugs, can I get a cheers, cheers. please? Cheers. Where's my cheers? Cheers. Oh. No? <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Thank you for all the support, Thanks guys. Thanks for the support. Sending you much love. Cheers! No. Ah. Well, the conditions have actually deteriorated. Uh, we're seeing solid 35 gusts up into the mid 40s. Dalos is surfing. Here we go again, crazily. <laughs> 8, 9, 11. 13, 15, 15 knots, <laughs> holy, 16, oh Jesus, that's crazy. Okay, but you can see what it's like out here. It's not pleasant. Uh, Sierra's sleeping though, how you doing? Doing great, man, this is exactly what I was hoping for, was some adventure out here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we made the bottom too, too slick and too fast back oh, in uh, July. <laughs> and we've just got a little scrap of jib out, we're on our third reef. Uh, look at the sea state back here. It's wild. This wave is stacking up. Well, the problem is that I actually think it's too windy to get into the marina. Uh, I don't really like docking the boat in anything over 30 knots. And if it's blowing 40 and gusting and stuff, then that's going to be like not make me feel real warm and fuzzy so I think we're gonna try and find a bailout plan this is the entrance right here uh, no right here and so it's pretty narrow and then you got to make this turn and it's a pretty tight spot and then the dock is like this so it'd be quite difficult if we deviate course this way uh, we can perhaps get just behind this point for a little while or even behind this, uh, what is this? It's a tunnel. But I don't know how much protection that would give us here. We might just see if we can just come behind this point and just at least try and get some protection until it calms down and then move. We'll see how we go. Well, we got two hours to see if it calms down. Oh, here comes another one. Oh, oh. Jesus, <laughs> look at that one. <laughs> what was that, 15? <laughs> I'm sure that camera does not do that justice. No, the waves <laughs> never look as big on camera. God, I haven't seen conditions like this in a long time, man. given a significant wave height, which is the average height of the highest one-third of the waves. Individual waves may be more than twice the significant wave height. Storm warning. Today, northeast winds then becoming north, 35 to 50 knots. 35 to 50? Sea, 3 to 4 feet, building to 6 to 10 feet. Wednesday night, east winds 30 to 40 knots, becoming north. Seas building to 10 to 18 feet. We're down for that. What does all that say? It says that we shouldn't be here. 
I'm gonna tuck it. Tuck in it is. I don't know. Hole just came in. The hole? Yeah, it's on auto. Yeah. So just let it go. And only take over if uh, something crazy happens. You see the knuckle up there just popped. Alright, Brian's trying to figure out what just happened. We heard a big pop and then looked up. And the whisker came back and slammed the side of the boat. And Brian's out there tethered in trying to find out right now what happened. This is solid 40 knots, 45, 50. 50 right there. 55 knots. Oh, God. And that's with no sail out right now. We're, we're yeah. literally just drifting. Carrying you down there resting, and just what happened? You just jumped up here? Yeah, I just heard a bam. Looks like something did not sound right. Looks like he's just tying it off. Yeah. He's a little bit worried about what's going to happen when we need to turn here. Yeah. Like, I don't know how that's going to work. Well, I told you yesterday it was going to be some big boy sailing today, huh? <laughs> Here we go, big boy sailing for you. Okay. Got it. Wow. I think it... The wind caught it on the other side and it stretched the line enough that it slammed the pole into the boat, bent the railing jammed up all the lines like that knuckle up there is bent i think we can fix that but good news is the rig is okay i thought the rig was fucked but i had to loosen the topper and the downhaul in the after guy and then it sprang back and i tested it so i think it's okay oh my god but uh i saw 55 knots 55 yeah. knots the chesapeake is really shallow and with this much wind and some current running the waves were getting very steep with a short interval. One broke right on our stern and nailed us. The force of the wave pushed our stern around, and before the autopilot could correct, there was a massive gust from a slightly different direction that caught the edge of the jib. This made our point of sail way too high into the wind to have our pull out and the sail backwinded. It was so much force under 40 plus knots of wind that the lines on the pole stretched enough and the pole snapped back under all that tension, slamming it right into our lifelines and pinning the pole and sail against Delos. It hit with such force that it sounded like a gunshot going off and it actually bent our solid stainless steel rail inwards. The conditions were so hectic, I just wanted to make sure the rig wasn't going to come crashing down and we could set at least a little bit of sail to help stabilize the boat. This fix would have to be a job for a later time, because right now, we need to focus on getting Delos and her crew to safety and out of the storm. Well, we're just going to run under bare poles. Yeah, I think. I think. How do we... I'm, I'm concerned about our turn. That's why I wanted to make sure the rig was clear so that if we need to, we can get a little bit of sail out uh, to help us get behind that. We got to get behind that headland yeah. and just motor right into it. That's our only, that's it. It's nasty out there. And I'm nervous about this turn. It's always like before something is about to happen. I always feel anxiety um, because you don't know how bad it's going to get. That's what I'm feeling right now. And I saw like 55 knots, like that's a lot. And if it's on the side of the boat, like that's gonna be pretty hectic, I think, because Sierra is sleeping in there. I'm gonna stand in there, just make sure that she's okay. She's gonna be fine. It's, she's, I have everything really padded. I just really need to make sure that she's good. It's different being a mom. <laughs> Whew. It's a lot of excitement and it's gonna get pretty hectic here for a while, so. I'm just gonna focus on that and not film anything right now. There's quite a lot of things going on. But it will be good. But it's like way more wind than I feel comfortable with. So, okay. Whew. Deep breaths. Whew. It's 
slow down here, Brian. All right, well, I'm trying to figure out a way to make sure that we can navigate through this channel because there's a long stretch where we would be broadside to the swells. So we redeployed sail and I altered our course to see if we could hold course. Uh, we're at 40 knots and uh, we are holding course. Just a tiny little bit of main and a little bit of jib. Uh, so that's the good news. Now we just got to nail this channel right here uh, without running into these shallows. And then we got to get behind here and motor up through here into this protection. So that'll be, but I think once we get through here, we'll be out of the swells. I'll feel a lot better about everything. Look at the seas though, man. This is insane. Brian, we've got a lighthouse coming on up here. What's, uh, what's the plan of attack on that? Well, it marks a shoal. So there's a shoal to starboard of that lighthouse. And so I don't want to keep, I don't want to take it to port, but I don't want to leave it too far to starboard because we're on a lee shore here. I want to give us as much sea room as possible. And the waves and the wind are knocking us this way. So I'm really like just trying to work up on it as close as I can. It's going to be close. We're doing it though. I got a really point like 30 degrees above it to make course though. Because we got 40 knots on the nose. We made our way around the corner and into protection from the swell. And just like that, we were safe. So it's about an hour since um, all the craziness happened. <laughs> We've just rounded the corner and um, yeah, it's a lot. I mean, just calm down straight away, right? Because all the then waves are just gone. So now we only have the wind. Oh, it's amazing to have Ryan and Brian out there. So I can kind of just like focus on Sierra and I've been really seasick today. I was very, very close to not keeping my food down. <laughs> so I feel absolutely exhausted. Uh, but I think we'll be able to anchor here and just like wait for this blow to pass and then go into the marina tomorrow. Oh. But the boys did an amazing, amazing job out there and kept us safe, which is the most important thing. She's still sleeping. Oh God, really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe she slept through that. Yeah, it's pretty hectic, huh? Yeah, I'm a little ugh. Yeah. Thanks guys for an amazing job out oh, here. Oh, it was great. It was, uh, it was interesting to say the least, but yeah. I knew we had a good boat and we're in good hands, so yeah. we'll be all right. A world of difference right now than it was just, what, 30 minutes ago? Right? It was 10, 12 foot seas, 40 knot winds, and uh, it's totally calm and clear. We just saw a big Coast Guard ship go out, and I'm sure he's got a long night ahead of him, so. Yeah. I mean, now it's 20 and it feels like, or 16 and it feels like absolutely nothing. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, 20 knots. Hey, Terry. How's it going? That's Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Terry always like comes out when we're just being in really hectic conditions. He always like, hi guys. <laughs> Terry, what a good dude, huh? Hey, Terry, good to see you. Hi, uh, Zoya here on uh, the ship. How you guys doing? Oh, pretty good. We're glad to be in. We saw 55 knots out there and messed up our pole and uh, we had to sail up into it for a little while, but uh, it'll be good to get a hook down and relax. For sure, for sure. What do you say, just short of your position? Yeah, that's affirmative. Um, yeah, this is a pretty sweet hold here, especially with that north wind. All right, copy that. How do you feel about your first sail with us? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> That's great. No, I, I had a lot of fun and I won't forget it. That's for sure. So, but like I said, I knew I knew we were in good hands. Yeah, hopefully we'll have a little bit less hectic conditions from now on. Look who's awake. Sierra, you slept through a really intense part of the sail today. Good job. I'm very proud of you. I'm glad that's over. Did you sleep through that, baby Knox? <laughs> you slept? You're a sailor. If I ever saw one. 
Whatever. This is a little wind and waves. <laughs> All right. Jeez. I'm gonna grab myself a stiff drink. Oh. Does anybody else want to join me? Uh, <laughs> Ryan's gonna have a. Ryan's gonna no, have no, a. No, I'm gonna have a tea. <laughs> oh, I'm the only one. So be it. <laughs> Up next on Delos, we repair the damage from the storm. This is our emergency railing repair system. All the way over here to a block, and back up here to the railing. Get buzzed by a Navy Blackhawk chopper. Whoa! <laughs> wow. And round the notorious Cape Hatteras. <laughs> My hair is looking crazy. <laughs> I really need a shower. Anyway. Where did the nugget go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh. <laughs> Where did it go? There, there she is. is. Oh. Wow. <laughs> ah. And look at the sea state. It is, oh jeez, I'm not even pointing it at me. I don't even know if you got to see anything I just said. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, clean that GoPro. Clean it. Clean it good.